Hey kids, are you ready for another epic true story? Buckle up, because here we go. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, and God was going to use him to lead God's people into the Promised Land, a special place God wanted the Israelites to live. But to get there, they had to cross the Jordan River. It was the only thing standing in their way. But getting across the Jordan wasn't a simple swim across a pool. And even that can be scary sometimes. No, this was deep flowing water. And at the time of year, it was higher than normal. There was no way they could just walk across. Or could they? Among the Israelites, there were priests who carried something called the Ark of the Covenant in front of the people. This was a special and holy object that God wanted the Israelites to treat very carefully. God told the priest to carry the Ark of the Covenant into the river. As soon as the priest stepped into the water, it stopped flowing. The priest stood on dry ground as all the Israelites crossed to the other side. Once everyone had crossed and the priest stepped onto land, the water began to flow again. This was no ordinary walk. This was a big deal. So Joshua told 12 men to gather 12 rocks and built a tower. When the people asked what the rocks were for, Joshua explained that he wanted other generations to know what God had done for the Israelites. When they should have been stopped or destroyed, God helped them. Joshua wanted everyone to remember what God had done, so he built a monument. And just like Joshua and the Israelites, I can remember what God has done for me too.